Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have another DIY thrift flip situation coming your way. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. My name is Whitney and this channel is dedicated to all things home. So thrift flips, DIYs, home renovations, and home product review. Okay, I don't know if you remember, but a couple months ago when I was at Habitat, I got a whole bunch of empty frames. There was a framing business that went out of business and they donated all their frames to this Habitat Restore and I picked up quite a few. Well, I have another DIY in mind for these frames. Let me, let me show you. So this habitat that I met has all of these picture frames where you can like build your own frame. It looks like a framing place went out of business, but I'm trying to think of some ideas to use these for. What do you guys think if I put four of these together and like made like a pendant light out of them? So I picked up four of these frames. They're just a little rectangle with a gold inlay. And I think I might be turning this into a pendant light. And then recently Habitat had a ton of extra flooring tiles like this. This was the print that I liked the best. And this kind of gave me like little bohemian urban outfitters anthropology vibes. So my visions for this is I really need an organizer for my desk. So I think I'm gonna turn this into like a desk organizer, but it could also be used as a makeup organizer for your palettes or your makeup brushes. And then I was perusing Pinterest and I found these really cool planters from All Modern. They are sold out, but they're really expensive and I probably wouldn't buy them at actual price anyway. So I have an idea on how to make Make some dupes for those using some recycled tin cans. Hey guys, editing Whitney here. This video is getting so long, so I've decided to split it up into two different videos for your guys' viewing pleasure because nobody wants to sit through a 35 minute video if you don't have to. So this first video is going to be on the DIY pendant light that I made from the frames, and the next week's video is going to be on the desk organizer and then the all modern planter vase dupes. Those two are both coming along really, really great. I'm loving how they're turning out, so make sure that you are subscribed hit that little notification bell so you don't miss next week's video and i will see you guys soon let's just hop into the diy pendant light so these three don't have any sort of inserts or those little like wire bendy tabs but this one does we're just gonna get rid of this i'm gonna take some needle nose pliers like this grab the little metal piece and pull it right on out it's literally that easy I'm actually going to peel off this gold inlay because I'm gonna paint the frames black, but I do wanna put the gold inlay back on there. I'm just gonna go in with some chalkboard paint and paint all of my frames black. Now it doesn't have to be chalkboard paint, but I wanted the black to be matte. So you could spray paint these with a matte spray paint and it would give you the same effect. I just don't think I have any matte spray paint. I have all of my little frames painted with my black matte paint. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and hot glue all of these little gold trim pieces back into the inlay. I was originally thinking about connecting these two like this, but if I did that, it wouldn't be totally square because it's adding in the depth of this one. So I was thinking about putting a little piece of wood right here in the corner and look what I found, scrap wood in the garage. This is actually three quarters by three quarters and I'm pretty sure by the looks of that, I ripped this down for something else. You can find wood about this size at your hardware store if you don't want to rip down your own piece to fit in here. Look at how freaking perfect that is. So I hope I have enough to get four lengths of this. So the lengths of my frames are 12 and three quarters and 12 and three quarters times four is 51 and I only have 48. So... Let me look at my scrap pile and see if I have another another piece or we're gonna have to figure something else out. No freaking way. Are you kidding me? What the heck did I use this for? Oh my God, this one is even like in better shape. And this is probably 48 too. Perfection. You have got to be kidding me. It's like this piece of wood was destined for this project. 
There's 51 and 5 eighths. There's just enough extra to shave this down and then the waist for the width of the saw blades on three cuts. Oh my God. I have my three pieces cut and look at this. <laughs> this is so perfect. I cannot believe this. I'm gonna stain this wood up. Maybe the Jacobean or maybe the early American. Not quite sure, but I'm excited about this. So I have my little corner pieces all stained up in the Jacobean stain. And now I'm just going to find the two sides that I think are the prettiest that will be facing out. So I think this has the most interest as well as this. So we're gonna put glue on these two sides and then start to glue the frames to them. And we are just going to smear that out with our finger. If you have too much and you know it's gonna squeeze out of the sides, you can always just wipe some away. I put a little bit too much on here. I'm just gonna line up the edge of my frame to, with one of the glued sides and then take another frame and align it up to the other side. I'm just gonna take some clamps, clamp this together. Now you can see from the inside, these are perfectly lined up right on the corner. Once this dries, we're gonna attach all of them and then put some nails through just to secure it a little bit more. Now I'm just going in with my little boss stitch brad nailer. The nails I have are an inch and a quarter. It might be a little bit too long, but if I can stick towards the edge, I can go into the heavier part of the wood. While the glue is still wet, I'm just gonna go in with a clean, wet paper towel. And just kind of smooth out some of that glue that's seeping through. And I'm just gluing up my other two corner pieces. I'm gonna attach everything together. Minor fallout. Gotta glue him back in, but we can do that later. All right. Last piece fits in there like a glove. This is looking pretty stellar. I'm pretty happy with this. For the top, I think I'm just gonna cut out a piece of quarter inch plywood, stain that up, and then adhere it to the top. I will drill a little hole in the middle so the pendant light can be, can go through and then the little coupler can be threaded on the end. So I just set this on there, traced out the base, and then I'm gonna be cutting just inside the line where I traced because I don't want this to be overlapping the top. I want it to sit just flush or slightly inward. So I'll be cutting right on this line because the width of my blade will ensure that this isn't too big. You know, I love when things work out. It's just so nice. So this is my little piece of plywood that I cut out on my drill press over here. This is a drill press. You just put your little teeth in there and then wind it down. And we are just going to set this on top, glue it up, then I'm gonna put some brad nails right in the corners. We're clamped. All right. You guys, I adore how this little pendant light turned out. I am so happy that I was able to make that with four thrift store frames and some scrap wood. If you're looking to get a braided rope pendant light like this, I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon. It has like a little toggle switch right here. It's perfect, it's genius, and I just love this thing. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video and DIYing this really awesome pendant light with me. And I will see you guys on next week's video for that desk organizer and the flower pot dupe. The puppies are hungry. Can you hear them pushing around their balls? Are you monsters hungry? Lucy. What? Are you cold? <laughs>